Today we're making pumpkin pie and we're making it completely from scratch. And it's not as difficult as you would think. So I have two pumpkins here that weigh roughly two and a half pounds each. And these are sugar pumpkins or pie pumpkins. And these are small, they're dense, and they have a higher sugar content. So they're great for baking, especially for pumpkin pies. So we're just gonna take off the ends here and just split them right down the middle. And my oven preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 205 degrees Celsius. I'm just gonna remove the seeds. Just scrape it out with a spoon and you could save the seeds and roast them. It's great to snack on or you could candy them, top the pumpkin pie with. Just drizzle these with a little olive oil. And we'll just flip them over. And these are ready to go in the oven. These will be ready in about 40 minutes. Just like that, 40 minutes later, these are good to go. You can see how soft they are. Just pierce them with a knife. And these are ready to puree. A lot of times, especially around Thanksgiving, you don't see cans of pumpkin puree in the store, and this is a great alternative. You could freeze this, keep it for later use, and make a large batch of it. This is about equal to two cans, two 15 ounce cans of pumpkin puree. So we'll just remove the skin, and the skin is actually edible on these, but I don't like the texture it gives off for a pumpkin pie, but if you want to use the skin, you could definitely give it a try. And just put all that right into a food processor. Put the lid, put it on high, and let this blend for about a minute or so until it's nice and smooth. Just transfer that to a bowl. And you can see the difference in color as opposed to canned pumpkin puree. Show you that vibrant yellow color. And that's it. We have homemade pumpkin puree. We'll set this aside and this is ready to go. So I have my pie dough here. This is my homemade pie crust recipe. I'll put a link up top. If you didn't see that video, check that out. I just added some nutmeg and ground cinnamon to the dough to give it some nice flavor in our crust. Just roll this out. I have a nine inch pie pan. Roll the dough onto our rolling pin and right over the pie dish. Settle that pie dough down, trim off the excess, and I'm just gonna crimp the edges with a fork. If you wanna do a different design, you can feel free to do that. So I put that in the freezer for about a half hour, let it set, I'm just gonna weigh it down with some foil with some sugar on top. You could use pie weights or rice, anything to just keep it weighed down. Now my oven preheated 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius, about 15 minutes in the oven. Take it out here, it's just beginning to set. Remove my foil with the sugar. Just dock the bottom of the pie here so it doesn't puff up. And I have an egg beaten with a tablespoon of milk and we'll just generously give this an egg wash. And this will create a barrier between the crust and our pumpkin pie filling so the crust doesn't get soggy and it'll give the crust a nice color as well. I'll just pop this back in the oven for another 20 minutes or so. Meantime, we'll make our filling. We have 15 ounces of our pumpkin puree in a saucepan here. Add a half a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of ground ginger, eighth of a teaspoon of allspice, eighth of a teaspoon of clove, eighth of a teaspoon of cardamom, and a quarter teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg. Plenty of spice in this pumpkin pie. And we're just gonna put this over medium heat just to warm it up. We want all the ingredients to our pumpkin pie filling to be nice and warm. So just a couple of minutes here over the flame. Now I'll add quarter cup of white sugar and half a cup of packed dark brown sugar and just incorporate that with the warm filling. That's nice and homogenous. I have one and a half cups of evaporated milk, and I'm just gonna pop this in the microwave for 30 seconds or so. 
just to warm it up. That's nice and warm. I have two eggs plus one egg yolk, and we're just gonna temper the evaporated milk into the eggs. A little bit at a time, constantly whisking so the eggs don't curdle. Again, keep all our ingredients warm for our pumpkin pie filling. And once it's tempered, we could add the rest, constantly whisking. And now we could add the rest of our pumpkin puree filling with all our spices and the sugar. And just fold that together. And that's our pumpkin pie filling. It comes together just that quickly. Make sure everything's folded in. We don't want any air bubbles. We don't want to over whisk it. We don't want a lot of air in it. That looks perfect. We'll check our pie crust. Got some good color, that looks good. And we'll just add our filling right into the pie shell. Everything completely homemade for this pumpkin pie. To prevent the edges from burning, I'll just tent the pie here. My oven's preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 176 degrees Celsius. And we're gonna let this go for 40 to 50 minutes. 45 minutes later, take this out, and you don't want to overcook this. If you overcook it, the pie is going to crack, and it's not going to look very good. So you want to make sure you do not overcook it. So just give it a little test here by shaking the pan, and you should have a little bit of jiggle in the middle of the pie. And let this rest a couple of hours or overnight in your fridge. I'm just going to make some whipped cream here, because whipped cream just goes perfectly with pumpkin pie. I have a cup and a half of heavy cream. Just going to whisk that up until it resembles whipped cream, like so. Add half a cup of confectioner's sugar to that. Healthy splash of vanilla. And just fold that in. We got some great whipped cream for this pumpkin pie. You can never have enough whipped cream for pumpkin pie. We'll cut into our pie here. Looks great. Nice healthy slice. Put that on a plate. Dollop of whipped cream. Some freshly grated nutmeg right over the top. Cinnamon works as well. Or a couple more dollops of whipped cream as well. And that is pumpkin pie completely from scratch. Make this for your family and friends. You will not be disappointed. I guarantee you that. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.